Good afternoon, everybody. This is Nelka Rojo again. And finally, I will create a first video for this month. In December, after a month that I did not create anything or any videos at all. So I'm working with this residential right now. It's in the USA. And the client sent me a data sheet of some chandeliers like this one. And I immediately think that these luminaires doesn't have photometric files. But the client wants to know the exact lux value if there is really enough lights in the room using those chandeliers and all those down lights. So since I am sure that these chandeliers doesn't have photometric files, so I created something that is really customized. What I did first is just to check if there is something in the loom search. So I check in the loom search and type chandelier. And then what I got is this crazy chandeliers from loom search. So this is the problem now because this is what I thought is the most important part of this uh, video because most of my students in Udemy keep on complaining that the most difficult part in lighting design is finding the right luminaire or finding the uh, IS file or photometric file for uh, the, the project that they are working on. So the most difficult part they usually say is finding the luminaires uh, calculation and finding the manufacturer data sheet or yes, of course, finding the most suitable light fittings. So most of these students who enrolled in the Dialux Evo for beginners really is uh, complaining about looking for the right fittings or right luminaires. So what I feel right now is the same what they are feeling because I keep on suggesting to use Loom Search to find the right luminaire. Unfortunately, even the Loom Search is not giving the right luminaire because you can see here when I type chandelier, some of the fittings that Loom Search is suggesting is not really a chandelier. Sometimes they are just a pendant fitting or even some Look at this one. This is a linear light. It's not a chandelier. And say, for example, you type pendant light. Sometimes you will see some floodlights or downlights, even if you type pendant light. So loom search is not really effective in uh, giving the right solution for finding the right luminaire. So I think the AI of loom search is not that smart yet. <laughs> okay, so these are some of the pendants, but you can see... Uh, some are surface mounted. It looks like a pendant, but it's mounted on the bracket. Uh, yeah, these are really pendant. Maybe this is pendant, but it looks like surface mounted luminaire. Yeah, so it's difficult more if you're looking for the right downlight with the right beam optic. Okay, so this is not a pendant, it's a downlight. Maybe this is a pendant. This is surface mounted. Okay, so let's go back to my project now. So what I did is I took, because the 3D file is, uh, the, the, the data sheet is here, this one, and also this one and this one. So I checked the brand and also the name of this fitting and really it doesn't have photometric file. So I just checked the lamp that they are planning to use. It's an LED. Yes, you can change it also in halogen or any, uh, maybe sometimes incandescent, but yeah, it depends of the lamp holder. So uh, what I did is I went to the um, 3D warehouse, of course, 3D warehouse is SketchUp and look for the same design of this chandelier, this two, three. And then uh, I will put the lamp on this. So look at this one. So this is what I got. Actually, I forgot to add the string yet. There's no string yet here, but this is supposed to be string. And then I also took this one which is yeah so much similar to this one and then i used a lamp so that is the most so this is the important now with loom search is you can find some uh, the perfect lamp for your chandelier so when you say for example you will type led lamp yeah even if you type the led lamp loom search will give you some crazy yeah, it's not the lamp that I am looking. I want the bare lamp. So what I'm going to do is maybe change the name with LED bulb. 
yeah, I think LED bulb, bulb is the right term, not the lamp. Okay, so what I did is I took the 3D file of the chandelier here and I took the lamp separately. Yes, you can have it like this. Uh, my favorite is VTAC. I don't know this brand, but I keep using them in, uh, in my lighting design. So you can select different lamps here and then you can put it and lay out in your chandeliers there. Okay, oops. There, so this is VTAC and then you can also use there in other, um, other decorative pendant or chandelier. And yeah, that's how I did this project and I hope the client will appreciate it. So what I am thinking right now is I will create a separate videos about how to select the right luminaire because that is what is the most difficult part most of my student is saying how to select the luminaire. Okay, so maybe on the next video we will start on the downlights, how to select the proper beam optic of the downlight and how are you going to use those adjustable downlight or fixed downlight and operated downlight because you need to really select those properly. Because as uh, I met some lighting designers who are very expert in selecting the luminaire by just looking at the beam optic, for example, in these types of beam optics, by just looking at these optics, these are all floodlights for sports lighting. This guy, okay, I will shout out now, shout out to my boss, Ruti from Becca Shredder. He can immediately select the right fitting for the floodlight sports lighting because he's already doing it for so long and he's so expert in, in doing the sports lighting. So by just looking at the optics, he can immediately decide which one to be used uh, in terms of the types of the sports lighting that he is working on. So I want you all guys to do the same and feel the same that by just looking at the optic of, for example, these downlights, you will know immediately where to use those uh, downlights, for example, or floodlights. Especially in street lighting or road lighting, the, the optics of the street light is varies or is really different from each other. And it depends of the wide of the road or the narrow of the road or the length or the distance of the pole spacing, which you need to really have a bat wing to achieve the distance, the far distance of uh, the pole spacing. So that is my next goal next time on the next series of video is how to select the luminaire and we will start on the down lights and then maybe the next one is uh, how to select the luminaire for the street light just by looking on the beam optics okay just by looking like this diagram and um and the next maybe is the sports lighting and other applications maybe for landscaping or facade okay so go and check that one and i hope that you will uh Check all those videos. And by the way, I will not forget, I need to comment on this Dialux newsletter. I haven't had the time to comment yet because I'm so busy with projects. So this uh, Dialux newsletter and also the Dialux Evo 12.1, which I haven't installed it yet because I'm afraid that there will be bugs and I'm busy with my projects and I don't want to mess this up. Okay, so yes, watch out for my comments also and how I use the Dialux Evo 12.1 and what are the pros and cons of these new upgrades. So um, I hope to see you again on the next video and yeah, that's it for now. Mm -hmm.